thank you for these events. Uh, my godfather was recently had a scare of tumors on his kidney, um, but he is healing at this Great. moment from surgery. So oh, thank beautiful. you. Great. Thank good. you so much for that. Good, good. And how did that show up? How did he know he was not? Um, well, <laughs> strangely, uh, he was told he had a tumor, and when they went in the day of surgery to get rid of those tumors, to cut them out, there were none. And so um, I, I like to think that it was a, it was a blessing from God. And he's, he's healing now just for the fact of having to cut him open, because obviously kidneys are pretty sensitive. All right, well, you know what? If, if, uh, I think we might have found a, an angel or a, a, a communicator. So you, go, you have that guy come over here and touch everybody here. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, some people are um, are not obviously on the, the organ donor list and they're either afraid or they just flat out don't want to. What would you say to those people that, that are on the list? Well, you know, we live in a selfish society. So people that are not on the list, you know, eventually someone in your family or you are not going to be well one day. But, uh, you know, part of being in society and part of being human is... is if you have the ability to, to be kind to people and to look after them or even, you know, like when I was married, my wife donated a kidney to me and she's living fine and healthy and uh, it, it, and I am fine and healthy. So uh, a lot of people are afraid because, sure, it's 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 surgery, but it uh, advances in medicine even from the time when I had my transplant. I have come a long, long way. Medicine has come a long way. And I would say to anybody that's afraid, it doesn't hurt as much as it used to. Because <laughs> everybody's going like, does it hurt? That's the first question they ask me. But also, there's nothing like having somebody who you truly, truly, really love be better because of you. Absolutely. Absolutely. You, uh, you're recently off of the Get Down Tour, and I love it. So I have a question. If you were stuck in an elevator with any other comedians, who would it be? Well... You know, I'm in, I'm in kind of a love triangle with Cedric and DL. So, because I work with one and then I work with the other and then they get jealous. And then Cedric says to me, you know, at the end of the night, so tell me the truth. Do you really have more fun with DL or with me? And I go with you. So I would say because DL is kind of a phantom and you rarely see him, that I'm going to say I'd rather be stuck with Cedric. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> because Thank you. we were stuck with Eddie, Eddie would jump out of the elevator and and save himself. I'm not sure if he'd come back for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.